There are four primary techniques or gears in classic skiing, and each is used in different situations. This video is focused on the modern techniques of classic skiing for use on groomed trails. We won't talk about techniques for classic ski touring off of groomed trails. Climbing hills on classic skis can be a challenge. If the hill isn't too steep, you may be able to stride up it, but you'll likely need to stride at a higher tempo with shorter steps. When striding of any sort becomes challenging, a high speed and high energy option is a running stride, which is typically easier out of the tracks. If you need more grip, you can widen your skis into a slight V for what's called a running herringbone. If possible, don't do this in the tracks because you'll destroy them. If you need even more grip or want relaxed and easy uphills, rotate your skis into an even wider V and take uphill steps, leaning onto the inside edges of your skis. This technique is called a herringbone. Herringbone, running herringbone, and running striding are the equivalents of the very low gears in a car or bike, and herringbone is the lowest. When all else fails, you can herringbone. In all of these uphill techniques, your arms should still move opposite your legs as in normal striding. Left arm forward when your right leg goes forward, etc. When going back down a hill, the easiest way to slow down is to use the snowplow or pizza slice technique familiar to beginning downhill skiers.